the manufacturing and skilled trades pathways, there is welding, construction, and aviation manufacturing. I'm in the skilled trades pathway, and what we get into is a lot of framing. We do electrical, roofing, siding, and basically we're doing a lot of things in the construction skilled trade. In this pathway, you earn a lot of certifications like OSHA, which help you a lot with applying to new jobs in the future, and it shows that you have a lot of hands on work. Basically, in the welding pathway, you get introduced to welding. You'll get your safety stuff, like your OSHA card. And then, you know, they'll put you in the booth, and your instructors will be there right next to you. You need help with something, you can always go to them. They'll teach you MIG welding, TIG welding, stick welding. They'll teach you how to cut your metal, how to clean your material. They'll teach you everything about how to be a good welder. Last year, I went to Skills USA. The judges give you a blueprint, and you have to go weld it. I thought it was really fun. In the aviation manufacturing uh, pathway, there is a lot of opportunities and it begins very basically. And you learn everything there is about airplanes from how it works to how it moves to all the parts and things that are used to make airplanes. Anything from the sheet metal to even the composites that are used to build the airplanes themselves. On any given day, we can be doing from working on the shed. We could be starting from framing the shed, or we could be painting the shed, working on roofing, we could be cutting, or we could be in the classroom learning about new tools and the basic of tools. So any given day could be ranging from anything from using sheet metal and like parts that could be used to go onto an airplane, or to just building composites with resins and fabrics to build parts for the airplane. A student would want to join this pathway because there's a lot of opportunities to learn new skills, to gain certificates, and just to figure out what you want to do in life. Some careers you can get in these pathways are, you can get in as an aviation mechanic, aviation engineer, uh, aerospace engineer. You can be a riveter in Textron, Cessna, you can even go all the way up to Boeing. You could be a plumber, electrician, a framer, a roofer. In welding, some of the places you can go with welding are you can be a deep sea welder. You can go well on a pipeline. You can go well on some tractors. It really offers a wide range of opportunities and jobs. Some good skills to have for this pathway are teamwork, communication, and leadership. If you like to engineer and you like to build stuff on your free time or whatever you're free, it would be really fun for you. A skills and interests that you need for this pathway is just to come in with an open mind and to not get afraid to get dirty. I really enjoy this pathway because of the connections and opportunities I've gained from with other students, with teachers, and possible job opportunities for once I'm out of high school. I love this program because there's a lot of different pathways you can try out and do and learn, and I think you should definitely try it out.